What is up guys? This is Knock back here for another video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to remove the background of your images or in other words make it transparent and this is the Photoshop tutorial. Now if you do not have Photoshop, obviously Photoshop costs money but you do want to do this. Uh, I have another video which I showed you, another video which shows you how to do this for free with another program so I'll have the link up on the screen or I'll have the video playing or whatever, just click on it and then that will show you how to do the exact same thing for free in a different program. But if you do have Photoshop, keep watching this video. Photoshop is better at doing this and there is a lot more pre precision you can do, you can use with this. So anyway, I have Photoshop open already, so it's over here. And just select an image for this, I'll open and we'll go over here. Let's see, this is the one shot I had from before. I'll use this one. It's a JPEG, I believe. Yeah, it's a JPEG. Anyway, what you want to do here is you want to hit the rectangle tool and you want to select the whole the whole image over here. And what you want to do then is copy it. So I'll go Control C, but if you want, you can go to Edit and then hit Copy. And then what you want to do now is go to File and hit New. And once you're over here, you want to go to Background Contents as default is going to be set to white or background color. I forget what it was set at. Uh, you want to hit. You want to set it to transparent. So once you do that, hit OK. And then what you want to do now is paste the image. So Control V, or you can just go to Edit, and then paste over here. Control V is easier, obviously. And once you're over here, you want to go to the Magic Wand tool. Now, where is it? It's over here. So go to the Magic Wand tool. Uh, if it's not there, uh, if if you see like a paintbrush or something here, you just want to right click, and then. So if if this is what shows up, you want to right click this and then you have the option to select the magic wand tool. And then once you do that, you want to select the white part of the image. And this is very similar to the one you did on paint.net, but uh, I'm just showing you how to do the basics. And then after this, I'll show you guys how to the, ad the advantage of having Photoshop and what you can do with a say with an image with a much more detailed background where it's not just this simple. So once you do that, you want to hit delete and it's the exact same thing. You can just go to file and then save and you want to save it as a, like I said last video, PNG or GIF, but PNG is better because the edges are a lot sharper and it's better quality usually. So I'm not going to save it because I already have this exact same picture and I showed you in the last video that it does work. So anyway, uh, once I do that, let me just close these and I'll show you guys the benefit of having Photoshop. So no, I'll open up a picture with a much more detailed background and I'll show you guys how to do this because in paint.net you could never do this so I took this I downloaded I downloaded this random picture of Rakish from Onage Pranks I love his channel so I just decided I'd just take this picture um, so anyway what you want to do here is the first few steps are very or this exact same as before you want to use the rectangle tool and you want to select it just like that control C or copy file new once again, sh should be set to transparent. OK. And then Control V or paste or. Yeah, there it is. And what you want to do now is select the magic wand tool once again. And over here, as you can see, the the background, there's a lot of stuff. Well, not a lot, but it's still like quite a bit of stuff, much more than just a white background. And how this works is usually is if you select a certain certain color, it'll take out everything from that color. So obviously, obviously, we can see that there's a there is a diversity of colors in this picture so I want to hit that so it selects all this because it's the exact same color I want to hit delete go over here delete uh, have these rough edges over here okay delete and you want to go over here I'll just quickly do this now for this black part over here this thing I believe since this is the same color I think I might just select yeah, it's like, so if you were to do this, so if I hit delete, obviously you do not want that as your picture, I'll undo that. Uh, so I'll just finish doing these other parts and then I'll show you guys how to get rid of that. Delete, delete, now you have to be careful here, I don't want to get rid of this hair. Uh, yeah, that looks good. And then delete, so what you want to do now is go to the eraser tool, so it's right here and to zoom in you can hit control and the plus sign if you want to zoom out control and minus sign and as you can see there's a lot of rough edges over here so 
what you can do is go up here and then select what you want the size of it depending on what you're erasing right now keep it fairly small you can change the hardness I usually like to keep it around I don't know around here or something that seems good around 15% depends on what you're doing and why is it not working hold on a second if this ever happens I just go like this okay let me try this again zoom in and you can use the eraser tool yeah okay so obviously I messed up over there but when you're doing it be a lot more careful with it and you can just get rid of these edges over here uh, it seems like size 14 is still a bit big and as you can see the hardness you can kind of smoothen stuff out now obviously okay I messed that up but anyway uh, you guys get the point and then over here and then obviously you guys would probably be more precise with that I'm just playing around right now and that's pretty much how to do it in Photoshop I'm not gonna go do this in detail um, but if you're doing it it just kind of gives you the main concept obviously you're gonna be more careful than I am with how you're doing it. I'm just like messing around over here but anyway that is the tutorial on how to how to make your images transparent in Photoshop meaning take out the background if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, remember subscribe, share, and favorite. Hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time.